we all know who's everybody's favorite Spider-Man girlfriend. Ooh, you know yeah, it. Yeah, right. Mary Jane. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? So I decided to show some love to my favorite Spider-Man girlfriend, the real queen, Gwen Stacy, by creating a 3D model of her in Blender. But with that twist, inspired by my Gwen Stacy from real life, my beautiful girlfriend, I'm going to give her the Brazilian body treatment. So let's get started. So, the very first thing I did was draw her in full body to have a reference for when I'm modeling and to get some cookies on Instagram. Then I opened up Blender and I started modeling on top of an old female base mesh I had laying around. So I made some adjustments to the model proportions, giving her a little bit of huh, a little bit of hoo hoo, just to make sure that all her proportions look good before I start working on the details. And once I was happy with it, I added another subdivision level in the multi-resolution modifier and started working on the details of her body. Adding things like creases, muscle lines, just refining the shape of her body. Then I worked on the details of her face and gave her some eyelashes to make her pretty. And once that was done, I UV unwrapped the model, baked her normal still inside of Blender, and exported her meshes and FBX for texturing. Then inside of Substance Painter, I just slapped in some generic skin materials, painted some color variation, and added some fold marks and spots to make it a bit less basic. Her face is looking a bit soulless, so let's give her a so. We'll put some eyeballs into her eye sockets and make them look pretty. Now, her eyelashes are looking a bit stale, so let's give them a bit more refinement. I'm painting some short hair alphas to use as their textures. Let's extrude some edges from the eyelids and separate them to make the eyelashes in the eyebrow. Give them a bit of a curve, just like the real deal, and they're done. There we go! Pretty good. And now that we're pretty much done with the base of her body, it's time to panic. But Lucas, why is it time to panic? You may ask. Well, my friend, that's because what we're going to do now is the stuff of nightmares. We are going to make Gwen Stacy's hair. I wanted to practice making game ready hair because I had never done that before and I decided it was time for me to learn how to do it. So our character's hair is gonna be made out of hair cards, which in case you didn't know, are very hard to do. Well, at least to do well. In video games, hair is done by placing sheets of geometry on the model and these sheets, or hair cards as we call them, have a transparency mapped to its material. Each sheet functions as a hair lock and by adding many of them, you get tricked into thinking you're seeing each hair strand being generated individually. But that's just a trick. We are going to use Blender 4.0's new hair system to place hair lines that will function as guides for the hair cards. So once they're generated, they can follow the curve of each line. We combed and we shrunk and we grew some hair. And after hours of fiddling with it, I think we got something that looks pretty good for what we're going for. Let's generate the cards and give them a color, transparency, and normal textures. The normals are somewhat optional, to be quite frank. And would you look at that? We have hair looking hair! You have no idea how much I struggled to figure out how to properly do this, and I'm still improving on it. But yeah, we're doing it guys! We got this! It's looking good! Okay, now it's time to protect her dignity and give her some clothing. Start by going to her body's mesh to block out the faces that will compose her clothes. We select the faces, duplicate and separate them so they'll become their own objects. Now let's go into scope mode with the Muta resolution modifier and add some folds and details. Just to make her clothing look a bit more like the real deal. Now that we're done modeling the clothing pieces, we should clean up the meshes to decrease the poly count and improve performance. We'll work on the textures for all the clothing pieces, baking the details of the high resolution level into the low resolution, add some stitching to the creases and give each clothing piece their fabric materials. And we're pretty much done! Gwen is looking pretty good. And now all we need to do is pose her beautifully, just beside her great love, and call it a day. Alright, this is how it turned out guys. I hope you enjoyed half as much as I did, and if so, please subscribe to help me out. And let me know in the comments, which one is your favorite Spider-Man girlfriend? Are you Team Mary Jane? Or are you Team Gwen Stacy? 
Or maybe you're in someone else's team. Alright, I'll see you later.